again, super scientific measurement here. I'm going to put roughly, oh yeah, a cup of sugar. I like it super sweet. Why did you not eat lunch yet? I just haven't gotten it around to it yet, so. Plop. What's Jim's? Yeah, a little bit more. <laughs> just the emerald version. <laughs> Bam. All right. Here's a handy uh, cooking tip I learned from my mom. A cap full is about an eighth of a teaspoon. So. All right. I'm going to stir that up a little bit. And then the magic comes when I add the liquid nitrogen here in a minute. It's going to freeze rather quickly. Do you make this at home? I can't make it at home because I don't have access to liquid nitrogen. But otherwise, the same recipe works really well. I remember those old time machines that you put in? Some of y'all might remember your hand crank, you add the rock salt and all that. Same recipe. Being a good southern girl, I love to add peach slices. All right. Also, if I'd been really nice, I would have made this yesterday and it would have had to, you know, like all night to sit it and really get those flavors all, but it's going to taste delicious anyway. Make sure I'm dripping a piece on my finger. Oh yeah, perfect. All right. So now I got to put on my gloves for safety. That was the sugar one. And then once we get it mixed, I'm going to scoop up just a little taste for everybody. Actually, let me get this scoop over here for a moment. accidentally touched the pot and yes it is in fact still very very cold one other thing I have my hair in a ponytail but I'm gonna put my keys where they don't fall in either far more concerned when we're doing the fire part all right so I'm gonna pour and stir pour and stir until we get the right consistency and again there's no magic way of doing it it's just until it gets right Trouble, trouble, oil and trouble. It's kind of what it reminds me of. I know it's going to take a lot more than that. I'm just getting it started. <laughs> Putting safety goggles on. I grabbed some napkins. Thank you. Starting to get kind of thick, got some chunks on the spoon, but we're not quite there yet. You know, that would actually be cool to you know, make a. Like so, there's effects. an ice cream store that charges okay. you way more. The liquid nitrogen would be cool to make smoke Yep, effects. Cream yeah. Street. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They do yeah, liquid nitrogen really cool. mixed yeah. uh, ice cream as well. But I gotta say, they charge you way more than the three days you come to spend here to get this ice cream. That's okay. right. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely needs more liquid nitrogen. I was just letting it kind of come down. See. Do you want me to pour while you stir? Yeah, thanks. Oh, I'm trying to get the lid off, and the lid's still off. All right. <laughs> Thank you. It's a little easier if you kind of constantly stir mm -hmm. while you're. Now this ice cream will also um, kind of unfreeze really quickly, so it's it's going to be um, soft serve really uh, when we serve it to you, and it will become milkshake rather quickly. state to a gaseous state and um how are we feeling on that mm -hmm. You're almost there almost there the top part is great down at the bottom it's still a little, <laughs> a little sluggish i'll let you pull that over real quick crunch it up a 
crunchy on the sides. <laughs> Doesn't help that that's the only side I'm pouring it on. Yeah, it's all right. Okay. Trust me, it'll be worth the wait. It's starting to look good now. I think we're almost there. This may be it. So what we'll do, um, we'll scoop up some, we'll bring them to you, okay? If you, if you don't want some, just let us know. Otherwise, everybody gets a little taste. And if there's leftovers, we'll do seconds, but we'll just see what we have. Mm -hmm. It's hard to see how much you're pouring It is in. very hard to see how much you're pouring in here. I'm like, and is that now filled up to the top? Ooh. Yeah, you got me with ice cream. It's We're fine. Just, We're fine. I just was like, oh, not expecting it. We're almost there. This is the most stubborn ice cream I've ever made. This is hot. It is very hot. And I'm just so hot. I keep thinking, oh, we got it, and then we don't, you know. Mm -hmm. They use, like, a right. electrical mixer at Creamistry, yes. so it incorporates it really quickly. Creamistry. Okay, so like Creamistry. Because they use cream. Um, and they have a lot, if you're lactose intolerant, what's really nice is that they have non-dairy-based creamers that you can add. So you can do coconut milk, um, almond milk, and... So, real milk from a cow does not have lactose, right? It does. It does, it does have lactose in it from a cow. Of course it's going to have so lactose. A, it's milk. a goat does also have lactose. Goat milk also has lactose. Why do they get real milk without lactose? They because they take, take the lactose out. Yes, they can actually take that sugar, because it's a sugar compound, and remove it from the... Milk. It's the first show I saw it made it sound like it came from a cow, like, without lactose. My, oh, no. That's my, we haven't gotten that far into genetics yet. My 15 year old's allergic. He's actually allergic to milk. It's not the lactose. He's actually allergic to the casein. I'm yeah. allergic to casein as well. Because yeah. yeah. it always confuses so you. What you're not going to have any ice cream? I'm not going to be enjoying so it. So they'll say, you're, is he a lactose intolerant? Like, no, it's not all? lactose. <laughs> I do eat coconut milk ice cream. Yeah, he does coconut or almond milk. Like yeah, like and they have a lot of great alternatives, or I'll do uh, sorbets instead, which I think are sweeter in taste anyways. Yeah. <laughs> what about the last night? It was really good. Yeah. It is. I had orange and watermelon. Though he told me it wasn't going to be good. Hey, I can be wrong. Are you a birthday boy? I gotta stop saying that. Happy birthday, ice cream.